So people always ask the question, you know, how in the world did you come up with the song Never Would Have Made It? It's, it's hard to believe that Never Would Have Made It is around 18 years old. Um, I'm blown away, family, because Never Would Have Made It was literally written uh, during a time when I lost my dad. My dad transitioned from this life to life eternal almost 18 years ago. And at my local church in the city of Grabbins, Michigan, the Lighthouse for Life Center Church, um, every Sunday we would get up and we would close our praise and worship set with a song entitled I'll Praise You. 
The song was, even if I'm going through, I'll praise you. Even if my rent is due, I'll still praise you. If my back is against the wall, and even if I don't feel like praising it at all, I'm still gonna praise you. And this particular Sunday, I came in not even thinking about needing to have a day off. I came in thinking that I was gonna be strong enough to minister that particular Sunday. And I walked into the sanctuary and I looked at my church, having just buried my father on that particular Thursday evening, a Thursday afternoon, and everything was normal. My ushers were in place, my deacons were in place, my choir, my praising, everybody was just functioning as normal. And I was just broken on the inside. And I broke down crying. I just, I just broke down crying and I couldn't pull myself together. And then I remember very vividly getting up and walking to the podium and stopping the praise team and stopping the musicians. And I just started singing these words. I never would have made it. I never could have made it without you. I would have lost my mind, but now I see how you've been there for me. And after this, I'm going to be stronger. I'm going to be wiser. I'm going to be better. Strangely enough, people think that I probably sat down and just wrote out that song. And the truth of the matter is, is that it happened in a spontaneous moment. And it's hard to believe, y'all, that one of the most challenging seasons of my life birthed the song that has transcended time and not only transcended time, but culture as well as musical genres. It's mind blowing that people like Lil Wayne, it's mind blowing that people like uh, 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 Yeezy, it's mind blowing that people like T.I., it's mind blowing that all of these different hip hop artists, uh, DJ Khaled, have called me and have sampled this music and not only sampled this music, but, uh, you know, have shared with me how this song has literally impacted their lives. And I realized that the reason why it has is because all of us at one point have had a never would have made it moment. And because we've had never would have made it moments, we needed something that will encourage us to get through some of the most challenging seasons of our lives. You know, that's my little soliloquy, if you will, about how never would have made it was written and where it came from. And believe it or not, you almost didn't hear it. If it wasn't for my late wife, Dr. Melinda P. Sapp, nagging me to record it. The truth of the matter is, is that you probably would have never heard it. But thanks be to God, I listened to a nagging wife. And because I listened to her, all of us are making it. And we're stronger, we're wiser, and we're better. <laughs>